Coming up on today's Panther Beat, our distance runners participate in a prestigious national championship. And Winter Guard levels up. Your Panther Beat starts now. What's up, O'Fallon? I'm Amari. And I'm Rennie, and this is your Panther Beat for Thursday, March 21st. Congratulations to the OTHS Winter Guards. Our Panthers had a strong showing at the MCGA competition this past weekend. Varsity plays fourth in Scholastic A and JV plays first. Our junior varsity guard is doing so well. They had to be reclassified into a higher class. Here's Nathaniel with the story. The Winter Guard program has enjoyed the success of the season and plans to achieve more. The junior varsity program achieved their goal of reclassifying to Scholastic AA. Director Emily Navarro tells us more. So there's a lot of great importance with moving from class to class. So we originally put the JV group in Regional A, which is more of a beginner class where there is a variety of beginner skills being introduced. We're judged based off of different criteria, equipment, movement, design analysis, and overall general effect. And because the JV program was so strong in all of those categories, the judging community felt that they were ready for the next classification. So that is a big deal to happen. It only happens to a handful of groups throughout a season. And our circuit it includes, I think, around 100 high school teams. So for only a handful of us to be reclassified is a really huge deal for the Color Guard community and for the program. We would love for our varsity program to grow up a class as well as our junior varsity program to grow up a class just like they just did. So the Color Guard program is on the right direction for success. Congratulations to our Junior Varsity Winter Guard program on the success so far this season. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Nathaniel Ellington. Congratulations, JV Guard. Keep up the great work. Prom is May 11th at the Regency Conference Center in O'Fallon. Tickets are $55 each. Senior prom tickets go on sale April 2nd and junior tickets April 8th. Before you can purchase tickets, you must have a zero balance sheet on your school fees. Be sure to pay any fees ASAP. Tickets go on sale after spring break. If you want to bring a guest to prom, be sure to turn in a guest request form, pick up forms outside room 1025 or on the prom website. Seniors, do you need extra tickets for graduation? Gold Rush is auctioning off tickets. Email your bid to hattonj at OTHS.us. Bids will be updated each Friday. The last bid will close on April 20th at 3 p.m. Now over to your Panther Sports. What's up, O'Fallon? I'm Brady with your Panther Sports. Our boys track team is off to a fast start this season. The 4x4 relay of Brody Schramm, Lucas Favor, Brady Donahue, and Eli Greenstreet ran to a first place finish. Our Panthers swept the 800, crossing the finish line with the first six spots. Michael Shepard placed second in the triple jump, and Omar Mims won the 100 meter dash. Five of our distance runners qualified for this very prestigious New Balance Nationals Championship. Here's Cooper and Brody with the story. Over the weekend, our boys 4x8 and 2-miler Dylan Ybarra went to compete up in Boston at New Balance Nationals. They competed at a high level, and me and Cooper went to go see what they thought. Uh, New Balance Nationals, it was an indoor track meet in Boston, um, and it's nicknamed as the fastest party on the planet, so it was a really big track meet. New Balance is a really big meet. And we wanted to learn, why would you even go up there? Really just have fun, since I don't want to spend all that time training, just be mad from our performance, and just be around the guys I was with. Our boys ran really well, including Dylan Ybarra placing 87th out of 104 competitors, and our 4x8 placing 63rd out of 75. So what's next for our boys this upcoming track season? Outdoor season, I hopefully want to get a medal at state in the 4x8, maybe another event, and then hopefully qualify for uh, New Balance Nationals outdoors. Going into track, I want to continue my streak of being number one for my age in the state. Good luck, boys, going into outdoor track season. This is Cooper and Brody reporting for Panther Beat, signing off. Congratulations, guys. If you'd like to play girls volleyball next fall, be sure to attend the informational meeting report on Coach Ott's room in 801 after school on Monday, March 25th, or before school on Tuesday, March 26th. You'll pick up information about summer workouts. Email Coach Ott if you cannot make it. 
In today's sporting events, our girls soccer team enjoys home field advantage as they host the Edwardsville Tigers, pop out to the athletic complex to cheer on the team. JV plays at 5 and varsity plays at 6.30. Good luck ladies, now over to your Panther birthdays. Hi O'Fallon, I'm Lucy with the birthdays. Birthdays for today, Thursday, March 21st are Andre Addo, Edward Bridges, Asia Daniels, Dayton Llewellyn, Abigail Fershey, and Olivia Fershey. That's all from me, now let's pass it back to the news desk. And now for your club news. The dodgeball tournament is this Friday. Come cheer on your friends and enjoy some pizza. The time for competition is now, O'Fallon. Let's take a look at OTHS's first annual dodgeball tournament. The dodgeball tournament is Friday, March 22nd, and it starts at 3.30 p.m., and it will be held at the South Gym at Smiley. So we're doing the dodgeball tournament to just get the student body more involved and have student council host another event um, just that is fun and gets the student body engaged. At the dodgeball tournament, we will be serving refreshments. We'll have pizza, chips, candy, water, and Gatorade. In order to get into the dodgeball tournament, you will need to be an OTHS student and have your OTHS ID. Sign-ups may be over, but it's not too late to cheer on your fellow Panthers. Reporting for Panther Beat, this is Kayla Warren. Looks like fun. Be sure to bring your school ID. Ultimate Frisbee is back. Come to the inf informational meeting today after school in room 302 at Smiley. Freshmen are encouraged, encouraged to ride the activity bus. Juniors and seniors, do you want to help plan prom? Attend the prom committee meeting today after school in room 1025. Yoga club meets today in room 1103 from 3 to 345. Enjoy snack and practice mindfulness. Sign Language Club meets this Friday after school in the Smiley IMC. Learn new vocabulary and play a Kahoot review. FBLA members, if you're heading to the state conference, be sure to turn in your Jimmy John's orders by this Friday. You also need to attend the, next me the meeting next Tuesday, March 26. Choose from 7.30 a.m., 2 p.m., or 3 p.m. The meeting will last about 20 minutes. Be sure to check your email and re remind 101 for co consistent updates. Culture Mix is looking for a representative from OTHS to join Racial Harmony. If you enjoy planning community events to promote racial harmony, Here's your chance to get involved and earn service hours. Attend the meeting next Tuesday, March 26th, and contact Ms. McGee in room 308. That's it for today, O'Fallon. Be sure to check out the spring musicals Les Mis this weekend. Visit OTHS.BookTix.net to reserve your tickets. For up-to-date news, videos, and more, head over to our Panther Beat YouTube channel. 